We're also going to want to make sure we work on his drop its and leave its with objects that aren't things he's ever going to be released to. You know, they're just off limit to him. And so for this, if you pick something up, I'll ask him to drop it. I, I don't really mind not even telling him something if he picks up something that he shouldn't have. You know, I might just correct him for picking it up rather than telling him leave it. I'm just going to say, hey, buddy, you just, these aren't objects you can take. You have objects that are fine for you to take, but just assume that, you know, these ones are off limits. So anything that isn't a toy or isn't food for you, just leave it alone, all right? So I can tell him drop it. I can tell him leave it um, to start with, but pretty quickly I want him understanding that he just needs to not touch these things. So I've got his favorite things. I've got brushes. I've got a pen, a uh, CD that I'm going to put on the ground. And what you can do, you can have him in his kennel before you start. Put all this stuff out. Don't have it be stuff that you're worried about actually getting destroyed. <laughs> but put out some challenging stuff for him and then let him out of his kennel. So I'm going to put this stuff down. And if he goes to take it or he even looks at it, Garner, where are you going? Garner, thank you. I'm going to tell him leave it and I'm going to give him a tap if he persists in trying to get it. Now, if he looks at it and he walks away, I want to make sure I reward that. Garner, thank you. Where are you going? Leave it. Good boy. Good dog. <laughs> good decision so i really want to give him the chance to look at it think about it and make a good choice if he grabs it i'm going to say nope leave it and i'm going to tap on the collar um and then i really want to quickly get to the point where i can good boy reward him for leaving it alone i can offer him a better toy or a, a toy that is something that he's allowed to have but i want to make sure i'm setting up little scenarios for him to Think about what he's supposed to grab. Good boys. That's a good dog. He went to his bed and laid down with his toy. That's a very good boy, Garner. So you should practice this every day too with anything that he tends to grab that you don't want him to grab. Just sit him up, let him out. I'll be ready on the collar. If he goes to grab it, nope, tap. If he looks at it and then looks away or he starts to pick it up and then stops on his own and make sure I tell him good and give him a toy or treat something better that he's allowed to have. That's a good dog.